Namaskar and warm greetings to you from DelNet Developing Library Network, New Delhi. Distinguished speaker of today's afternoon, uh, Dr. Rajesh Sharma, Librarian, Kendri Vidyale, Bilaspur, Chhattisgarh. The eminent librarians, library and information science professionals, HODs, the faculty members, uh, the professionals from IT and computer science departments, students uh, and researchers and scholars, it's indeed a profound privilege for us at DelNet to extend a very warm, hearty welcome to each one of you for joining us today at the DelNet webinar session, which is on how to make blocks for your library learn step by step. We have with us today uh, Dr. Rajesh Sharma, a very experienced librarian who holds a great expertise on the subject of creation of library blocks. It's a profound privilege for me at the very outset to extend a very warm, hearty welcome to you, Dr. Rajesh Sharma. Thank you very much for acceding to our request and being there with us and in sharing uh, your vast expertise on this subject. We extend a warm welcome to you and it is a pleasure for us to have you with us today. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very Rajesh. much. Dr. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rajesh. It's indeed a pleasure to welcome each one of you who have been able to join us from different nooks and parts of the country, India, and also from many other countries. We are indeed feeling much motivated and encouraged and inspired to keep on doing these programs. And it's all because of each one of you who have always been showing a very overwhelming responses to DelNet webinars. It is yet another effort of DelNet to continue holding our monthly webinar series. And today is yet another occasion wherein we are wanting uh, that each one of us to get benefited uh, with the vast knowledge that our distinguished speaker, Dr. Rajesh Sharma holds. When we talk about creating uh, the library blogs, it's quite essential enough for each of the library and information science professional to know the, the, the various uh, technologies which are in place for making your libraries most visible, to also work towards creating you know, the portals yourself. You should acquire you know, the required skill sets that you are in a position to do what you really want to achieve. And Today, uh, through this webinar that we are having on creation of the library blogs, it is a step uh, in making you more acquainted that how you yourself can develop. And these are the technologies which are free of charge. These are the tools which are available free of charge. But yes, it requires a lot much of your time and effort. And uh, I don't want to stand much between you and our distinguished speaker. And it's a profound privilege for me to introduce Dr. Rajesh Sharma, who is a librarian at Kendri Vidyale uh, Bilaspur in Chhattisgarh. Dr. Sharma holds a vast experience of more than nearly three decades in the field of library and information science. Having a brilliant academic record, he has been bestowed with numerous awards and recognitions for his immense contributions. And just to mention a few, it includes National Award to Teachers, Ministry of Education, Regional Level Selection, August 2022, Award for Excellence and Innovation in Education, Library and Information Science Education, 2022 by Global Research Foundation, which was bestowed in collaboration with the University of Trenjoyo of Madura in Indonesia and IDEI Indonesia, and also Associated Partners, SVDES and Noble Science Press on the eve of Teachers Day. KBS National Incentive Award 2018 for rendering quality service to Kendri Vidyales, Dr. S.M. Ganguly uh, Best School Library Award by the Indian Library Association and many others. I'm also very pleased to inform you all that uh, Dr. Sharma has been a prolific writer who has been writing and contributing immensely to the profession by participating and uh, also sharing his expertise on a number of uh, national platforms. It's indeed a pleasure to have uh, with him today uh, with us. It's a, uh, once again, uh, doc Dr. Rajesh, we take immense pleasure in welcoming you. And uh, we really look forward to having deliberations. We would just like to apprise all our uh, attendees here today that the session, since the session is of 90 minutes, and we would like to request uh, Dr. Rajesh uh, to, uh, he's going to give you a very exhaustive, extensive uh, uh, insights today into creation of library blogs. And in order to see to it that we are also able to have a good, fairly a good time to have an exchange of uh, our ideas and thoughts on this topic and also to attend to your queries, I would like to request uh, Dr. Rajesh that if we can have uh, you know, the presentation for fairly around 60, 65 minutes and leaving around 
15 20 minutes time for the deliberations towards the end of uh, his session so we really look forward uh, uh, rajesh ji for the presentation and now i would like to take an immense pleasure in requesting you to start the session it's over to you dr rajesh thank you very much uh, dr sangeeta kol director uh, developing library network and uh, when you were talking about and disseminating the information that i have first of all i would like to mention that uh, i am nothing before you and the, your team of the developing uh, library network and at the same time i would also like to mention that i was really remembering that uh, two decades before uh, it was something like 93 or 94 to 96 i worked there uh, under that uh, my my role model and everything i uh, got about icts dr rajesh k kol sir and then i always whenever i started some whenever whenever i think to create and utilize uh, utilize my uh, new things then i remember that uh, dr rajesh k kol saab and then i start doing because i got a lot of ideas how to begin with that from basics to just to, to from basics to just complexity step by step uh, how to learn so a lot of things uh, and then uh, i salute the dr sangeeta kol's work which she is continuing the developing library network and across the globe now so I, i i knew a lot of things from and then i i got the opportunity to work uh, uh, the india international center too and then i worked in the uh, dr sangeeta kol has already mentioned so we will uh, not waste the time so first uh, i am also very very happy that uh, i got a very good opportunity or such a uh, across global uh, platform that i will have to share my experience other and then uh, whatever the schedule you mentioned i will try my level best to stick to it so for the benefit of that Uh, users i always try to satisfy and i i always try to see that whatever the five laws of the dr s r rangnath so uh, after having uh, said uh, all those things i tried my level best to divide this session of this webinar into three uh, uh, three phases first phase will include some sort of demonstration of uh, what i did so that we will try our level best to know in what way the web logs uh, may be created so second portion uh, although it's a, i i would like not like to test the theoretical aspects we have already been aware about that what is the web log is all about and uh, what the theoretical but some sort of uh, prerequisite to by means of the slides uh, which we will be looking into it and third part which is most important and much time i will be devoting to create a step by step that is the main motto of this uh, webinar so now uh, we have to utilize you know, all my dear friends and uh, uh, all the respected uh, dear learners for i i have just forgotten to, uh, to mention that uh, uh, all the respected teachers library professionals and uh, whatever the that joined this uh, webinar so uh, good afternoon to you all and now i would uh, i'm just going to start my session initially i would say that uh, web logs or we can say that library blogs it's a type of uh, we can mention it's a online journal if you see that we can imagine that online journal it's a informational website and which is used to provide that information and basically when we use web logs then the most importantly it is most recent post will come first so it is reverse chrono chronological order whatever the posting uh, we are uh, being executed that has to be in the reverse chronological order in what way that i will be creating and uh, demonstrating you we have plenty of platform by which we can uh, create our web logs and uh, here we have to stick to the library block so now we have a very good blogger through blogger we can use it and uh, also we have wordpress and what not so now if uh, dr sangeeta kol has mentioned we have to use and free of cost then if we are willing uh, to create our web logs free of cost or our, rather our library blog free of cost then it is uh, suggested that uh, we have to switch it over to the uh, blogger because it's not too difficult rather simple to create and then we have to see that what is the prerequisite uh, required so needless to mention that we should have a net connectivity simple we should have some uh, pc or laptop very simple and then uh, we uh, we have to see that whether which which platform we are going to see 
we should not be bothered about domain name and uh, uh, previously when i was not getting in 2011 12 13 i was bothered much bothered about uh, domain name space and so on but now if you have only one thing uh, google gmail account then you are in a position to create a weblog with a, within 15 or 20 minutes and so so let's see in what way we are going to create the our weblogs so i will request dr sangeeta call to give me a one or two minutes time to share my screen so that i will show my uh, uh, my work so that uh, uh, the attendees will come to know that what is the weblog is all about though they will be knowing so now Please. Uh, so Rajesh, we have already given you, you uh, the control is in your hand. You can move to the next slide. Oh, I am going to minimize it first. The slide, yeah. No, it is not coming there. Okay. You can just can move to the next slide. No, no it's not coming. No, it is. You just move to the next slide. Uh, Can you open from your side? Just, just, just for a second, just for a second. We'll give you once again a control. We are again giving you once ah, again a control. The control. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. We are just that doing that. Yeah. It seems it has gone side. Yeah. No Show my screen. You just, ah, yeah. You accept it again. Mm, thank you. I yes. accepted it. And just, just okay. go to the next slide. It is not showing here. On the PPT file only you have to go to the next slide. On the PPT file. Uh, but it is not coming from where I could take it. We're able to do it. Rajesh, uh, uh, just put an escape, uh, press an escape. No, I escape. did it. And yeah, now try it. to see, it should move to the next slide. You do no, with the right. Ah uh, yeah, it has come now. Uh, is it visible? No, it the next my... slide. You go to the next slide, Rajesh. No, mm -hmm. no, I see. I have already switched yeah, over to the next slide. This is fine. It is coming. I think it's a network. Coming. Yeah, network issues. Uh, it, it's a speed issue. So I think it's a. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is coming. Yes, it is fine. Uh, it is fine. Please go ahead. Contents are visible, so I'm very pretty yes, sorry yes, for yes. that. From my side. No, 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 no problem. Yeah, it is a little bit slow, I think. Now, so that is why no, it is no, late. No, no. Okay, now. So, I, as I mentioned, uh, yeah, now I'm, yeah, now I'm starting. Uh, as I mentioned that, uh, I have just divided this uh, session into three parts. So, first part, I just uh, let you all know about what is the well block is all about. Now, secondly, we, we will see that what is the prerequisite is. So, we already know about components of the URL, need, uh, need not to say that we should have some... Uh, no domain name and so so if we have a uniform uh, resource locator url then it has that these type of parts like uh, one part is protocol and another part is reference and uh, domain so now if you get free uh, web log you are willing to uh, construct the free web logs then it means that you are going to have some subdomain like if you are using blogger uh, platform then you will get blogspot.com if you are using free of cost web uh, web press sites, then you will be having uh, another type of uh, subdomain that I will be showing. But suppose you don't want, you want a direct domain name uh, which suits to your institution, then you have to purchase it. So in what way you can purchase? Uh, it's not too much costly. It will be taking only a hard day, uh, 2,500 to 3,000 per year and so. So now we will be seeing uh, web press cost and then uh, blogger cost. So this is all about then domain protocol and path. We all know that. So I'm not going to waste much time on it. Now I'm uh, directly coming to the creation of some of the web blogs. Though I have created as many as eight blogs, but I uh, selected my four blogs here so that I can show and I can uh, take only five to 10 minutes so that whatever the restructuring i have done that depending upon the requisition of my users of my library so we have to take care of this prior to decide of a web blog creation of a web blog it is much more important that we have to uh, accumulate the whatever the uh, 
desire whatever the requirement of our users what are the requirement of your users which we have we will have to pen it down otherwise the, it will not be much meaningful first of all and second it will be a lot of wasting of time so we have to see time management also a lot of focus is required so be ready for these type of parts which is actually prerequisite prerequisite not a technical aspect that we know only we should have email gmail account and then we we should have only pc with uh, internet net connectivity and what not so uh, dr sangeeta call is it visible is it is, is it visible very much dr yeah rajesh yeah. it's visible please thank you so much so, okay i'm continuing so now let's take instance of certain web logs which i have constructed and you also have constructed to be you have to enhance our ideas we have to update ourselves so these things are the prerequisite we have to take take one week or 10 days and a lot of feedbacks from the uh, your uh, your users or your uh, library readers and so so now uh, you will be getting a lot of perfect ideas then only you switch it over and start constructing it so that it will not only save your time and but also the same time you will uh, get the perfect perfect web blocks which will be highly meaningful for which you are going to create it so now let's see that so these are certain website which may not suits you but it's a library website and i am working in the school environment you are working in the college environment you are working in the networking center you may be working in the any documentation center but uh, the our users remain same our services more or less principally same like circulation cataloging digital library these type of concepts which we are, we are having full text data retrieval uh, specialized services like current awareness services and services selected dissemination of services if you see you talk about some uh, big centers like national informatics centers that we are accessing medlar databases and what not now but we have to stick what i mean to uh, convey or disseminate that we have to stick to that users requirement then it will be highly workable so now it's nothing but that weblog is also uh, application of uh, library 2.0 tools so i have created i have used this is all about that uh, outcome of uh, pandemic pandemic given me a great opportunity to enhance these ideas and to implement then only uh, i i i just uh, able i've been able to just uh, execute these so let's see i will not going to waste much time this is www.crosswiseaccess.blogspot.com this is entirely based upon users requirement so it may look a little bit different kvbsp 2020.in here there is no such word of wordpress but since i have purchased a domain because i was needed a much space so i just uh, i just spent uh, as many as the rupees i think uh, rupees 3500 For in order to have domain along with some uh, uh, say space, so I got uh, six to eight GB space. It depends upon uh, different companies and whatever the service providers. So it uh, rate or cost may little bit vary. So you have to just uh, take uh, the approval from your authorities. So in order to have some space and domain name, I got the uh, uh, I got this approval from my authorities, and uh, he happily approved it, and I got it. So I will be showing this also. Now, as far as this is concerned, and today's webinar is concerned, we we are much focus on because we may belong to the private sector. We are belonging to the government, non NGO sector, and so on. So now, uh, and uh, especially to begin with, we should have some sort of free, free, free uh, service provider. So, the blogger is a wonderful uh, platform by which you can create. So now you have to see that in what way I have created. This is the free of cost because you are seeing that one sub domain is attached here, namely blogspot.com. it may be as classwise access dot in but now in that case you have to uh, uh, spend some money so what uh, how much money now these days because if you you see that if it is festival then maybe discount so you have to be careful uh, and then uh, you take advantage of it so we will be looking now uh, what the um, price offering there and so on so now see that in what way i have just uh, created because this is based upon that users requirement so as you uh, uh, imagine that it has uh, needless to mention it has uh, certain sections like header it has main body section it has i will be showing you it has likewise it has sidebars sidebars may be divided into two or three right 
left and right sidebars depending and then marquee you are seeing and if i use the term marquee it's a movable text i don't know about anything regarding html and because we may be technical saving but we are not a source code writer or program writer or like uh, ncs or so on but now uh, we have to uh, take advantage of that uh, whatever that available uh, under control marquee commands so these uh, if you know that so you can execute without being uh, aware about any type of source code so i will show in what way you can use the, this type of moving text to previously as was not not used but now i tried my level best to update myself update my well myself regularly and accordingly i just made it so you are seeing that this is type this type of work this is one of my web log which belongs to primary upper primary so i will showing you can also attach any type of images also in the footer in the header in the anywhere you want in your blog so this is one sample i just uh, i'm just going to show you now here you are seeing different types of access points in the header section just below the header section home by default it comes now i am sure that you are you definitely be willing to have whatever that uh, library you are having opaque online public access catalog so everyone is willing from any part of the world even uh, intends to see your catalog so that is why i always give stress to create opaque and then through by means of creation of our library through library software i got attached this link in the web blog so this also provides a different type of access with one platform with one click you can access a lot of digital resources now here you are saying that teachers teaching study materials class subject wise teachers wants our authorities wants that we can we will we should be in a position to use from the your web logs then any time any anywhere from anywhere the teachers teaching study materials so i just uh, tried my level best to accumulate these resources and through web log i made it available now class wise class 1 2 3 4 5 you if you click here you will see what will happen what the values will return i am just demonstrating and after that i will step by step be giving you the ideas to how to create now see that class 1 if you click that book hindi then it will automatically be coming so now one access it may happen that there is shortage of books in your city you are residing in uh, rural areas and so and it is not able you are not able your student not able to access this type of resources now you can just uh, you can access it and utilize for effective teaching learning so i am just closing it and going back to this so now you see likewise a lot of access points i have given i am not uh, opening each each and every but uh, the important things i am showing so that you will come to know about uh, what type of blocks the structure what, what type of structure of any blog so now see that it's a burning new education policy of mhrd as far as education uh, concerns uh, uh, as far as this education institutions are concerned so it's a primary thing so it's a most important things that we should be aware about uh, new education policy because we have to implement and being that central uh, government entities we are the we, we have to implement first so now uh, i have just uh, made it available for our users now i split up syllabus because it's a unique throughout the country and wherever in the abroad that uh, kvs uh, is functioning that uh, split up syllabus can be accessed with one click only you have you need not to go anywhere and, uh, don't waste time you simply with one click you can download it and keep it safe in your drive so this is the split up syllabus of, of uh, for all the kvs uh, across the india you can give them you can download it you can use it you can share it and since it's in open domain so it's a free of cost so now it's a working and depending upon the speed it will come though i am having 150 mb per second so per minute so it will come so kvs is split up syllabus of primary will come here so it is reading from the source and then it will come so likewise meanwhile it will come uh, yeah just it has come because it's a lengthy one so now you can access by clipping and then you can give to your to whom so are wants it just disseminate it so likewise this is i am just closing it let's see another aspects of this so this is about header section and your access points 
and from the uh, interface so through the interface different options uh, are there and how we are going to use the different options uh, through the interface that i will step by step i, I will let you know so now these are the things vidyalaya uh, khabro it's a uh, very interesting it's a uh, new our clicks of our functioning of our vidyalaya will come with one click so i have just indexed and uh, so that is why i told that initially ki it requires a lot of uh, devotion time dedication focus concentration so now you have to uh, give at least one or two hours daily so that you can update that is why it, that is why it is said that uh, it's uh, different from a website website is formal and uh, weblog we see that it's informal and informal at the same time it's not a uh, static in nature we can say that it is a dynamic in nature so that is why you can now come to know that it's dynamic mm -hmm. so now uh, latest entries of you are seeing that uh, displaying first so that it is reversible chronological order you can uh, place your uh, annual report with the alam magazine whatever the current contents now here you can it can be replaced by uh, current awareness services selected dissemination uh, services since i am working in the school environment so i have what is this so now uh, now it is as i mentioned it is also for the upper primary and uh, senior secondary web blogs now i have give connectivity it's the beauty of this web blog is that with one blog you can access many blogs too so like in what way you can access it let's see just one click away with all the blogs of your vidyalaya it's upper primary upper primary secondary here you can see and click open link in the new tab so it will come likewise so it is reading and come depending upon the speed of your network so it will be coming since i have been given linking of other blogs so like likewise it is coming see online access to class wise subject material it's a exclusively for board class student and then sort of materials also for 9th and 8th also so like see that here a lot of oer also e contents also covid 19 vaccination program of this vidyalaya it is most important government initiatives of ministry of education is also there like 100 days reading campaign shikshak par you are saying that so since we are the government institution so we have to execute all the policies of the government so this is and a lot of digitization so we have to be we, we must use that application of library 2.0 and it's a very wonderful opportunity to use it so likewise you are saying that curriculum e contents primary web blog uh, i am just uh, randomly selecting and saying like pisa you might have heard this type of word the student resource materials all those from where i got it i all those i just sit for months and then i got the feedback from the students teachers authorities i just be accumulating these materials uh, in my drives and then only i started working on my weblogs now uh, utterly i am just getting that feedback and so so now uh, the, this helps me like uh, suppose the student is um, studying in uh, class senior classes then career what career after 10 plus 2 may be very useful for because some of the students uh, uh, conveyed me that these uh, made available the career resources Now you are seeing in this block. It's made in so the WordPress. Rajesh, uh, sorry to uh, I am you know, for sorry for the intrusion. Uh, I was just wondering Rajesh. because of paucity of time, because of paucity of time, yeah. Rajesh, can we uh, you know show them that how they can really can create? It's really so wonderful to see okay. the okay. enormous work that you have okay. done, and let them also you know get to know that how they can really can how each uh, and every professional colleague of ours can also create the same thing what you have done. You know, in such a marvelous way for your own school. So uh, we would Definitely. appreciate that if we can. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry. Very sorry that I have taken uh, two or five minutes more. No, no, But no, no, no. Just... It's not so because of time constraint. Only nothing more. You know, it's wonderful to see the work that you are being uh, doing. Thank Please. Thank you very much. Uh, so, sorry. So sorry for this. Yeah. Sorry for this. No, no, yeah. not at all. Not at all. It's a really, it's a really correct to just That's mention it. that may, may, uh, we have to see that practical you. approach. Practical approach is one much more important. So likewise, we are uh, now getting the practical approach, like as. as as i mentioned initially that in the third phase we will have to see that so like it may take some uh, 30 minutes or 40 minutes so let, let's see one step by step very slowly so now what way we are going to create free library block that is the uh, motto of our today's webinar so create a, so uh, dr sangeeta call uh, if you give me five minute more minutes time to just see, i i will show that the screenshots so that a screenshot will uh, enable uh, the attendees to know that in what way we are going to create then uh, i will switch it over to practical 
So you, it is entirely yours. Like you, please kindly do it the way that you want it, uh, oh, Dr. Rajesh. No, thank please. You, thank, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you. So now within five minutes that I will, I'm showing that I have taken the. the the screenshots with the screenshot uh, why i am taking it because it will help to when i i will be creating is uh, practically and uh, step by step so that prior to that we will see that in what way we can create so now as i uh, initially mentioned that we should have one email so just go go to your email click and activate your blogger or there is another way to create you just go blogger.com and then um, you activate your uh, accounts and then also you can uh, come in, come to this screen so this is the interface of blogger now here you have to create your web blogs and what way you are going to create through this uh, uh, screenshots i am just explaining here you are seeing different options there in the interface like post followed by status comments earnings it's a totally for business purpose now since we are the academic so i am not touching it and then pages layout theme now see that what will be followed by so now you have to choose a name in what way you will select choose the and what way you will create your url that i will explain within a minute so this is the way to create now again after having creation of so first of all you have to create your url through by means of your gmail account that's all is then you have to create once you create your url then you have to uh, just uh, activate and then work and structure uh, by means of layout and different themes and then you have to create this so better these are the screenshot but it will be you will better understand if i use directly practically then i will be explaining you so very quickly you can hyperlink it and what way you will hyperlink it so that uh, everything will come that i will explain step by step creation of uh, web blocks in what way so this is the when you haven't selected any type of theme then you are saying that it's a very simple now you have to make it very in a direct uh, decorative way it has to be attractive so that uh, uh, your readers uh, will access with ease so now you we have that our uh, uh, either uh, here themes and so by means of different themes you select it and it's a freely available you can select it so how you will select how will you customize it and how uh, you are going to even one more thing uh, which is coming to my mind because uh, some of my friends is also asking about uh, real simple syndication like rss that i will also uh, be, I, I will letting you know today only because it's very important if we want to show the certain websites work and it is regularly updating then it can also be accommodated in our uh, web blogs in what way we will do that i will just show you to the layout these are certain gadgets to by means of gadget you can add this by means of gadget you anywhere from sidebar in the uh, header or in footer anywhere as per your wish you can append any gadget we will see that so now you have to configure different type of uh, your uh, willingness so you just configure it and likewise i just pasted the it's an image of my vidyalaya so i, I did it so likewise you will proceed yourself and uh, as i mentioned it is required a lot of devotion and time so the fruit will be a very quality oriented so definitely so the time you as much time you will give the quality oriented blog will definitely emerge so let's see just i'm showing the screen starts now how to create it as i mentioned i am just going to i have just created a blog for district library so i am using the email so now as i mentioned there are two ways first way you go to your email and then from email you can select the blogger or another option is now i have created i have started step by step creation of library blog so this is the first step you have to go to your google account gmail activate your gmail account or yeah or you can just give go to the blogger account so www.blogger.com this is another way so there are two two ways anyway you can opt it so i am switching it over to my i am going to my email account it's a district library account which i have created during pandemic when that library services from home was were taking place now see that it's a email now you are seeing a lot of feedback type of link is coming also so we will be 
seeing that in what way we can just append to our uh, web logs. So just second part, as soon as you reach to your Gmail account, you just click to the these nine dots. I will just give the left. Okay. Now click into it. Go to Blogger. It's a very simple way. And it's a very useful for beginner. Maybe most of us are already aware, but now we will see that some uh, how uh, RSS can be appended and so so uh, some complex things or advancement yeah, we will also see. So click on Blogger. This is the second step. See what will happen. It will take 30 seconds or so now. Now you see that it may uh, happen that you are just beginning and you are creating your uh, weblogs first time. Or it may happen that you are creating a second time or then you have already uh, created some uh, uh, library blocks. So what are the ways to uh, do so or to proceed with? You have to just click this down arrow. If we have already one web, already have our library block but now we think that we have to create another library block for another department like in our system primary wings is totally entirely different so now we have to create as many as three uh, different library blocks for them so now you just have to in that case you have to click down arrow now click on new block the moment you will click the new block you see that here option is given that you have to mention and you have to select your title of your blog suppose you can give title which is very relevant one like in my case and your case it may vary so i am giving since i am working in a school environment so i am giving any any name you can get like library blog of suppose i am giving library blog this is the title of our today's webinar so i am using it library blog of KV plus you can give any name here as per your wish blog of any anything you can give now here you are saying there are two options beneath this cancel and cancel and next so if you are totally satisfied with this name better you get uh, approval from your boss also what should be the title of this so now although you can change it later on also through the setting options so i i will be letting you know in what way but now here we have to choose a name in the beginning of the creation of blog. So now you have to click next. Here you are seeing again opportunity to go to the previous one. If by mistaken you have just uh, taken to the next window. So now you can go. You have even option. But now I have just given save. So now here it is given choose a URL. Now it's, this is the time you have to create your URL. Uniform resource locator now has to be created. Now, what are the ways to, uh, you have to think what should be uh, your uh, URL? So, for example, I am working in Kendriya Vidyalaya Blaspur, Raipur region, and I am uh, constructing the web block for uh, our library and for our readers. So, here I am giving KV BSP. Now, you see that I intend to have KV BSP dot, since this is the subdomain because we are using free of cost facilities so now uh, google is giving his uh, giving its name here if you want if you don't want here is subdomain then you need to purchase from where you can purchase i will be showing you so now i don't require it i i am very very satisfied with this no 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 problem so i am very satisfied with kvbsp.blogspot.com it may be anything as per your requirement as per your wish you can specify your url here now here you see that just beneath that kvbsp it is coming sorry this blog address is not available it means that someone has already taken so now in that case you have to change it because it has already been used so now i am since uh, constructing in uh, the year of 2022 so let's see that what will happen whether it will take or not KV, the moment I entered KV2020, it's still somebody has taken. So now I am just taking KV BSP updated. Any name here. Here you see that. Now this time it is taken. Taken like this blog address is available. So now see KV BSP updated 
likewise you change you should have four or five options and then one by one you try it so now this option is available so kv bsp updated dot blogspot dot com is will be your url so you just save it here one more thing that i have forgotten to mention here there will be no space at all here there will be no space otherwise it won't it an error message will come so uh, take care of this aspect now click save it will take hardly 30 seconds time to create your url now you have not created your web blogs actually you have created a url with a title of your library blog only this much of thing has been done now you can see that view blog anytime you want you see what type of structure is showing there is nothing here library blog of kb blaspur here you see in the left side you can uh, update and you can uh, customize your uh, profile so how will you create it we will have to see that so by now only things that we have just given a title of our blog along with url we have created successfully so these two things are much more important very very important to begin with the blog so now we see that in what way we are going to create it and it has to be i will be taking certain example that may vary with you but now you can uh, once you know the in what principally it can be uh, created so now you will uh, replace it so now let's see some examples in what are we in what way we are going to create so as you are seeing here certain options under this interface like post is then is status and so on so uh, let's see in what way we can create our post so i'm just clicking here here a option is plus new post so we uh, want to create our first post here you give i am just uh, very quickly taking as opac because opac is mandatory for each library so here you you can type or you just uh, uh, previously you have already uh, typed certain text and you can append here you can uh, append the images also you uh, you can so anything you, you can add here so likewise i am just giving online public access catalog so you are seeing that the heading is coming online public access catalog okay now see that you have to make it as a heading big heading so that it will look differently so you can select it here you are seeing a lot of options by which you can give glimpses to your headings or glimpses to your particular sections so now i am i want it to be a heading not a major heading but a heading so it will look like immediately it will change and suppose i want it to be a bold one so change it to bold you can italic you can underline it so these are different utilities like ms word you can do that now the important aspect is that you want that every reader as soon as the click he or she clicks the your on opac then the opac will open so how it has to be created or how it has to be appended here so this is this is the way you are seeing here is insert option you have to go to the insert or edit link here you can just uh, first of all you have to select it whatever attributes you are going to append you have to select it first you select it now another thing you can just justify center align right align text suppose i want it to be center align so i intended to be like this so it has been done so it's very simple likewise it's a given certain things bullet and so so these are glimpses you can just create and then it looks very attractive and so so now uh, here you see that it's a html or compose it's in compose way because we are writing text because we have not been aware about any html but if you want to see that in what way the html text will look like if you already know then you might have typed like this so now i'm just not doing this so just undo it and go to the compose version so oh. so now it is in docked mode you are seeing so again if you are you you have to just open it again since you are seeing that it has gone that is why i have selected it now you go to the compose mode compose view now because i have not publish it or save it that is why it has gone 
so now again you have to be take care of these aspects so that is why i selected it options for you so online public access catalog again i am typing okay select it i am not doing much more attributes to it only heading making it as heading now this is much more important aspects then what way you have to show your uh, opaque so here you are saying test text already been taken now you have to paste the link so now you have to be ready with this suppose i have already been prepared certain things i have already planned uh, taken meetings with the department uh, heads and then uh, some uh, different feedbacks on the basis of that so that i got some th certain things so that i can select and save a lot of time so you just select uh, about opaque i have created opaque using e granthalaya so we are we have been automated our library in every aspect including barcoding with this type of thing so now you have to just uh, be ready with this so that i i'm just uh, uh, saving our time so they came within uh, 20 seconds it has come it's very simple now we intend to have in the open uh, we want to open this in link in a new video so you have to just click it and apply simple so now this is the way to hyperlink anything what you want so you have to just add make it as heading subheading as per the requirement minor heading paragraph or whatever the case may be now you have to just for select it otherwise it won't come and just simply click on this insert link it will automatically be taken to this and apply now see that here another option the most most important options i'm very quickly touching it you uh, there may be cases that student or year readers wants separately that it should separate show like uh, online public access catalog is just displaying separately in a, your blog so that very quickly without wasting time so now you can label it how we will do that you just click label and give, give the heading just here you see that no matching suggestions because i haven't given so question cannot work here no matching suggestions so i am just giving i'm saving time just typing up anything you can type it now here you see that there are certain uh, another opportunities to uh, have certain options we can we can make it available for like uh, we can allow it to all the users okay please give me time because my battery is going down i'm just recharging my pc just give me one Take your time, no problem, Trish. So, uh, so where we were, we were just knowing that uh, how to label it. We already came to know about in fact label. Now publish here you can change as per your requirement. If you give it, select it automatic, then automatic the today's date will come. But now you can set date, date and time. Suppose you want, intended to select the date, uh, anything, anything date which is not uh, today's date, then you can do likewise. So these options provide you opportunity to set the date. Now para para link, it will give you a link of this particular page to access. You can save and give, give in uh, uh, WhatsApp and any social media you can give so that anyone can access. So these are the uh, facilities which have been appended by the uh, blogger free of cost. So that is the beauty of this and we are not seeing, uh, not, not paying anything. So see that how, how beautiful this. Now we can set our location also here. You can set location. So these are the different options available. So make it ready, available for uh, you allow all the readers because it is going to be public. So now here union, this is union public access catalog. Here, like, let's see what will happen. You just first publish it. This will publish your post into your blogs. And how will it look like? We will see that. View blog. Now you see that previously it, it was showing nothing. Now we have added in our blog a opaque. Now the moment the reader will click opaque, it will access. See that? Now it has gone to the library like, OPIC here. You just click it on here. You click it and it will let you know the OPIC of your library. 
it will take time because opec is used one but since the speed is there so that it will take hardly 15 20 seconds it has come now so now this is the opec of, of, of my library so see this this is my library is working in hybrid way so only thing we have to enhance our ict skill and we have to uh, give and devote and we have to give time so everything will work and your student our students should be very happy our users rather so where it is so if our users uh, remain happy then we are happy so we are utilizing our enhancement of this ict skill and pandemic has given a lot of time to do so so now uh, you can uh, i won't waste time by giving here you can just uh, type down any type of suppose you want uh, any any subject like biology so whatever books the biology in our library will come here so likewise you can show the catalogs of your library in different views like view holdings full holdings likewise you can see so now whosoever uh, software will be any any software you have uh, automated your library you have just to provide the link and in what way you have to give link that I've just shown you. So this is the way to create a particular post. Now we haven't created any pages. So first of all, I create first two, three posts and thereafter I will suppose the users are willing to see the virtual libraries because we are living in the age of uh, digital time. So now we have to create some digital library. It may be another requisite because uh, this is the requisition of my users. So now I knew it. So that is why I'm remembering and knowing and then I'm giving, taking it as example. So now virtual library. Here you type it virtual library. And here you see that you have to provide the virtual libraries and collections. Suppose I want, I have created as many as 50, more than 50 virtual libraries during last previous year or two, 2020 and 21, because it has been mandatory by the library policy of KBS. So now we have to do it. So collection of, of here simply you give collection of, you can give any, any string of uh, sentences or paragraph, anything, but for that uh, saving of time, I'm just uh, taking one sentence, collection of virtual libraries. on different themes. It may be the celebration of library and day, it may be celebration of library week, it may be celebration of Independence Day, anything. So now we see, you can make it as heading or subheading or so. Suppose in this case, some we make it as minor headings. You see that now give some impact, color impact like uh, this. I have done it like I have given color to this. Now, after having gained different attributes, now you just go to the in hyperlinking it. Now you should be knowing where it is. So I have just done it. You see that various parts like Delnet, classification, David Decimal, virtual. This is the virtual library KV plus. So you just select it because it is residing in my drive. So you just select. This I've been taken to certain example. There are many hundred, more than hundred or so links. So as many as information you will be utilizing depending upon that user interest it will be highly effective your progress so now you select it and open you have to be open this link into the new windows now you can uh, paste here images also collection of virtual library on different themes you can paste it and then simply i'm i'm just also labeling it as give the label like a virtual library we lib and publish it by default, it is taking all the readers here. So confirm it. If you forget to confirm, it won't save and it won't come. So you have to update always and uh, confirm it, and then you have to save your work in the particular interface you are working by using different option. So now let's see, always see after having completion of a task, you, you see that it is not showing right now, but now the moment I refresh it, what changes we will see that. Here, here OPEC is coming and you are saying, this is KV library, this one. Okay, here you are saying that virtual library and OPEC, two things we have already done it and publish it. Now you just go to the view block, you see what changes. Virtual library has come and it is just on the top because it's a latest one. So that is the beauty of the blog. 
so uh, that is why i have uh, mentioned the block is always in a reverse chronological order so likewise and it is showing date date form date format can be changed also so through the settings i will be showing you uh, so within a minute so virtual library and opex so these are the two different posts you can create likewise here even we have created certain things it is not nothing but have something but it is not attractive it is not it's a not in a symmetry one so in what way let's see you are seeing different option in your interface so you have to select layout and another thing theme so select one theme and pages so first we create some pages also because we have already planned and already accumulated the ideas and the information of different pages so suppose one wants home by default will come opec we have created as post so now we your user want to see that the functioning and then various services of uh, developing library network so here by the permission you take first prior permission of this uh wb library network and then you have to take permission of the authorities of the delnet and then on, after that you can just give the link so here you i'm just saving the time and just typing delnet services and membership here you can type forthcoming naclin also because i am always looking the services of naclin i am highly inspired of this so now yeah these are the things suppose you want it to be as page then see what will happen i am not touching this not going anywhere but only i have to give the link so give link to this it's a beauty it's a saving time i i have just thought upon previously i was just pasting a pdf and so on it is taking a lot of time a, a number of space and pages so now i just uh, what i did it i just accumulated this thing under a drive and then it is saving time and also the space so now you just go and select the uh, developing library network uh, url you once you remember you have to take the permission if you are opting like i have taken permission from national digital library of india though i have worked also for them so now you have to just see that certain things certain uh, examples of certain librarians of the kendra vidyalayas are giving their uh, materials to for uh, their so in public domain so now you just uh, be likewise you just open it open this link and apply it it's very simple fundamental will remain same but here no labeling at all it's a page setting options are coming so now you have to allow to your users because it has to be public after all so now publish it and then confirm if you are not confirming it it is not going to save you. save it now you see that one post has been successfully created it is showing but whether it has come in our blog or not you see still we don't have any images in our profile that we will create soon so you see check one by one it will hardly take one or two days and within one or two days you will be creating your very attractive blog here you are seeing that uh, even saving even after creation of the page and even refreshing this page it has not come here only posts are visible so there are ways by which we can made it visible here we have saved it we have created it it's okay but now wh what is the way we see that you have to see and go to the layout now you see that there are sidebars there are gadgets so now you intend to have your there first see that page body your blog post first see that footer so different options are there so again i am clicking i am refreshing because it has to be a header section here yeah. under the header you will get a column so now first you see that and you just try to do and uh, make some r and d here you are seeing that library blog of kv blaspur is coming now they, they, this is another thing you want to have some sort of image because here there is no image at all so you can append the image but prior to that we see that in what way we can have our page visible in our blog so in what way we will see that see there is another option pages page gadget is there you can show your pages in your sidebar in your heading wherever you want so there is a way you just have to click it and add a new item here so you will return here page name like home will come by default you know that delnet has come here so we have to configure it here so just click the delnet 
it will be automatically taking a url of this you need not to type it down anything and just you have need to save it once you save suppose you have created by now only one uh, page so it is showing only one you can uh, create as many as pages then it will be coming here so now save it i'm taking it as only for demonstration purpose now you are seeing now you just check your web blog just refresh it and see your from anywhere of your blog whether it has come or not okay now we have to go to the new blog now you see it is still not showing so in what way you can create go to the blogger under the header section there is a section called column which will come and then only you can do so so see that prior to that we have to also select a theme so there are themes suppose our blog is looking like this it's not at all attractive so we have to select a theme so that it has to be attractive and a proper structure so there are certain free of cost it's offering blogger offering free of cost so let's select anything for demo purpose we simple okay we select simple now you can customize it and you, after having customization and then apply so first we see that in what type of uh, this our blog is looking like you see here a lot of changes previously it was not at all looking good but now it will look like this without image your heading is coming virtual library now coming opaque is now coming and here it is automatically by default is coming label we have assigned labels to our blog that opaque and uh, we will be also coming here we have assigned the here pages are coming you see home and delnet so now home and delnet since we have created by now only one page so here only one page delnet is coming so let's go back to this we have seen review now customize you can customize as per your requirement you can select background image also main color theme i am very satisfied with, with this type of color so i no need not to first i want to just complete my web blog then thereafter a lot of customization can be done so these are the options by which you can do that so now you can check the uh, width also see what uh, in what way you can do that and how will it look like see that there is changes if you see here 141 here it's very here margin has been shortened see that previously it was width was high let's see so this width is okay otherwise you do as per your wish now it little bit it's okay so it's a uh, uh, entirely different than that of this one means it is uh, separate from our main block and it is a side bar it's a main bar it's a side bar so side bar should be uh, looking different or looking separate rather from the main bar here likewise you can for this you can set it for entire block like this so these are the changes you can do that once you do that always don't remember so this is the layout again you can go and layout suppose only side bars are coming on the right side but we want it to be either side so just select it okay likewise you can uh, uh, restructure and give glimpses to your uh, blog so these these are the themes color you can select it okay now one thing you remember it has still not been saved and here you just search for five years i still remember that i always i tried with my level bus but still not coming so many times i tried but not saving but here i later on i saw that it there is a switch save save column here you have to there is a save option here you have to click save here now some gadget may become visible here it's giving then we already knew it so now save it it is updated now here there is no option of saving it has to be here so there is some changes as per any updation in the web blog or blogger so likewise you have to see some help menus of or help uh, uh, see um, manual of this blogger so keep continue touching and updating by this type of webinar so you will come to know about this so now it seems that it has been done it because we have saved it so unless until save it won't work now you see that 
the our block current status of our block how it is looking like now now see that it is showing post it is showing heading now it is showing uh, the posts now pages pages since we have assigned it in the right side of the bar the right side uh, sidebar right sidebar then it, uh, that is why it is showing in this area otherwise if you would have been assigned in this gadget you would have opted the gadget of header section that would it would have come here okay so now see still our footer section lying empty now our block at least uh, has started some glimpses some showing some sort of attractiveness now still if we think that here some images should become some image should come here uh, i intend to have my profile so uh, how it can be added how I, I i would like to tell that now these days 2020 world cup is coming so that i want some sort of information should be here some marquee is going so we have just completed 40 or 50 percent now see in what way very quickly this can be done so now we have uh, applied theme theme can be changed anytime layout can be added or deleted anytime so now see that here we want this type of uh, post creation of post should come below the head so that it will be meaningful so just add it as i mentioned we have to add it i'm sorry we have to add in the cross column so add a gadget take it see that different types of gadgets here a lot of gadgets you use any gadget and free of cost so see that when that blogger is offering us these type of utilities and uh, any space no limitation of space so that needless to uh, it is not required to just waste any type of money if the our requirement as far as this our uh, blog is concerned so now see uh, i have to come to the point and then we are seeing we have to create pages so it will display in return when we create a list of the standalone pages so see that in what way pages here is coming page list uh, since we have created only one so we have to add it here page name you can add delnet and you, here you can specify either delnet uh, uh, url or it's a, by default it is giving the delnet website here but we have given so now save it now again save wherever the save option you have to be careful otherwise it won't be uh, taking it now see the current view of our blog we wanted here our post it is lying empty still images are not there two things we have to do immediately so now we see that see how much time nothing you just click and refresh it and see sorry we have to click here and it will be coming like this so let's see here you are seeing its home has come here also here it is in the sidebar you can minimize the width of this also by doing customization now here delnet is coming as a page as a page these are the post it is a static in nature because it's lying always and it is limited to seven you can uh, make it 10 12 any any type of number of pages so who then we will see it but now you are seeing your your pages you just created delnet and it has come here and we were we were creating virtual library under the heading under the option of uh, post so it is coming here so this is the way you just click it and you will be i think going to be the delnet here it has come and you can go and see that delnet services so this is the number one networking center across the globe nowadays i suppose so this is the thing you can go go across uh, suppose uh, you have forgotten any uh, like uh, uh, you want cbsc curriculum you want uh, our sangathan's uh, url but you have forgotten you don't remember you don't need to remember you just has to remember only one your library blog which is very that is why it has to be very simple and then uh, to the point type of so string so that uh, it is very easy to uh, remember so likewise you can access anything that is the beauty that is why it is a dynamic in nature so now let's see again here what so why in what way we can do that we have to paste it under the header section so here you see and go and 
you uh, images there are two options it can be taken from your url if you knowing if uh, it is residing in your any drive or anywhere in your desktop or pcs or laptop then you can take it from here it i think i i should take it from my device so that i am choosing showing the demonstration i will take it so previous uh, so th this is the work prior to creation of block you have to do so that is why there are certain images that i can uh, take it so what should what was the title here it heading okay so suppose blog of primary department so you just be ready with this type of image there is another option now once you have selected you have certain option it is just reading and come taking it from your device to here it has come now so web blog to access resources so i was ready with this type of image i had just managed previously prior to create the web blogs now you have option you want text behind text title instead of title and descriptions you choose as per your choice you need one more thing that you have to shrink it so, so that it can fit to the heading so we have seen and then as i mentioned you have to save it one by one it is interlinked so everything and then you blog here we will refresh it now some images should come here automatically taken as some in space and here you are saying it has come now you have to little bit customize it as i mentioned in what way you have to customize you just uh, lowering the text and maximize giving some changes in the width and so so now you see library blocks of blaspur is coming but now here also a web blog of blaspur so it's a certain type of duplication and moreover some images are not visible so now you go and edit it so i'm just very quickly doing so you can do as per your choice so again you go to page header section edit it there is option in the right hand side edit it and you can do that here i was just showing there are image placements the options are there so instead of title and description we want our heading so just try it selected second option why is it now giving updated and it has been updated i think now you just click it and refresh it all the times you do that while creating your web blocks you are seeing that it has been gone now it is looking like now it's more beautiful and it is understandable that it is clear now you see that if you want to change any theme you can you are not satisfied with the theme you can change it and any so the, these are the bar for the pages now this is the place for posts now still we see that in what way we can add our footer section and images so go go there i'll just show you and then you can do yourself by by these things so there are uh, options in uh, sidebar similarly main sidebar you want to search your blog so now this is important thing so you just uh, activate it by search the blog you can change it and here you can give uh, access point anything you can change it so it looks good now you are seeing it has already automatically taken here is pages you want uh, here some sorts of advertisement also so now add a gadget i want here some images of uh, my vidyalaya so you can given you can give your profile to your uh, blog like page headers uh, you intend to have here in this section your followers this is important so someone will see and then uh, it will come to your blog so some save it and the followers uh, yeah your uh, you can write it your friends likewise so i am satisfied with the word followers so it has been just activated in the place sidebar you have to see where you are placing whether you are placing in the left side because i have opted the theme which has now in the sidebar is also giving two options left sidebar and right sidebar because i have customized this okay now you see you intend to have feature post popular post you just select it popular i just have to edit it and then select okay i'll do it you edit the feature post Uh, title you just give feature post any any title so you just give features anything you can give i am saving time and just say it can be removed later on if you don't want you want what are the uh, popular post of my blogs okay which time time durations all time last uh, 13 days i intend to be i intend to since i am updating it's a dynamic in nature so i will utilize these services in uh, what are the our popular services so that i can update much more in within 7 days so now so i am saving it and maximum uh, i want popular posts details 3 3 at a time so uh, anything you can uh, just customize as per your choice 
now you see that footer section is lying empty we saw that so you add gadget in your footer section likewise you have a lot of options there you can manage and then you can select as many as options here available like i want it wikipedia so that it will come in your blogs and you can search the wikipedia the footer is divided again to uh, in the two parts here also i want some image of uh, my vidyalaya so i just select it just select it and it's very simple just we have to give the time our vidyalaya you guys can give your college you can give any any type of your captions you can give anything like premises anything you can give and here you have to give the link of uh, if you are willing to give suppose i want to give the link of our, our uh, vidyalaya then you can give and you can select because you are ready with all those things so here kb blaspur kb blaspur link so i am just uh, control c select kar liya now i i am just giving here link as my vidyalaya's premises and uh, blocks and it's a rather website now image is not empty here so now i will take it from my image from my device and i am taking it as like this suppose this is the image now open it and just use link so that it will suitably fit to your blog now i am saving it it is showing preview but i am just is it uh, saving the time now a lot of uh, changes uh, i did it so now we mentioned we see that in uh, that at the moment how it, it is looking like so we see that certain changes what we applied it has already been implemented and executed here in what way we see that footer we, we are going to see we have given wikipedia now your reader can search here need not to go to the wikipedia separately so that is why this is the beauty of the blog you can access a number of desired viewers within one click so need, need not to mention to remember any type of web, websites or url so you can search the wikipedia from here from your blog now another rss is different rss tells us to uh, take the updation of any websites and then it has to uh, uh, show in your blog so uh, in uh, how you will do that uh, i will be coming to it now see that in the footer section premises are coming now since i have appended one uh, link so now the users want to see that you are with the alias so that uh, it will come so just click it you will go to your so recently we have done some human chain in order to azadi ka 75 mahotsav so like we are celebrating all those things are coming here i would just so these are certain this is our web blocks so a lot of happenings programs academics so you can go need not to manage, remember this uh, blocks uh, is our principal and so the stops there so now likewise you can go and select and do a lot of things as per your requirement of your institution colleges your services a lot of things but now you have to give uh, remember one thing you have to devote yourself totally and commit and some time management should be there so uh, you can give as much as time then quality blog will appear so likewise you can give one thing i was talking about how to enter uh, your image in the your profile this is left along with rss in what way this this is important so let's see uh, i will also have to see that suppose uh, rss i have to add i will have to go to layout okay everything is uh, should be available in the layout i will be looking it has to be in uh, left side so sidebar i want to accommodate the rss in the sidebar so real simple syndication should be coming here so is there any type of facility from blogger yeah feed so now this feed add contents from an rss or item feed from our blog so you can say okay here it's nothing and nothing is there now you have to go to that particular sites and take xml take html not a web link not a url you will have to remember that you have to take the xml xml url so how will you do that so i will be showing suppose cricket 2020 is going on so cricket rss feed okay so cricket rss feed for cricket info is very famous so i am going to take it if you select this html directly then it won't come you have to go to select xml language 
now i am interested in india so now i am selecting india's xml file for this particular cricket information i have to select it so this is the updated version of cricket contents which has to be in my blog i want so here you see that you just give your url okay now you see that what is going to happen here there is two mandatory fields one for title i have type it's not being taken any type of string by and and it is followed by feed url here i have taken that xml in the form of url it's a xml uh, code now you can change you are here you can option to change feed url later on if you want to switch it over to any anything maximum number of uh, shown items i want it to be five okay so for that you have to continue here you see that the moment you click the uh, continue option title has automatically taken because i have opted this url of espn now here you can say how how many news you want i want uh, five or six or four i want four because i want uh, another information in my blog so item dates yes i want so uh, so item resources of author of this particular news as yes i want and open links to the new window oh, definitely so now save it so see this we have we have been just it has been configured in a meaningful way in a proper way so that it has to be appended in your blogs and your blog has been restructured because the command has come why does why is it is it updated now uh, you have refreshed it and see that whether in real sense it has come or not okay it has now i have to again switch it over to view block now let's see where i had given it yes left in the left side it has come india news from espn this is rss this is nothing but the rss real simple syndication and now without being uh, going anywhere you can have the news of the current news of cricket from that uh, renowned uh, espn click info.com so now they see this is the date it's a 29 10 today's or yesterday so now uh, rohi kohli and suryakant power india to the top of the group so likewise you can see and later on you can add and change to the anything like you want uh, certain students want news so then you can add it to the news and change so this is the way to add the rss link to your blog so that we can be updated about the current changes recent changes of a particular site the moment any type of updation it will automatically be there it will automatically be updated here also so this is uh, now it is coming so you see this see it is coming free of cost and then through the blogger only thing what we had to done then we required one internet connection we required only one uh, time uh, devotion and focus and concentration we required some sort of uh, it's not a technical much technical aspects so only practice practice makes man much more wiser and perfect so now we practice the uh, practice is required here and then uh, you have proper planning you have to accumulate materials as per the requirement of user otherwise it will be in vain and your efforts all so these things uh, i think uh, my experiences tell then i tried my level best uh, and this is all these are all pandemic work so i utilized the time of the pandemic when i got the opportunity to sit and work from the home otherwise it would be not possible so see this here there is no follower so now suppose uh, i it's uh, myself is visiting my site suppose you are a user going and then following just uh, any user suppose is going and then following your so it will be showing like followers so here you, you can be able to see that these are the follower of my blog now these are you can access point you can see that any suppose you want to see your blog is very bulky you want to see that uh, dalnet suppose you just click it and see and where the dalnet is here in the in your blog you see that it will be giving the value of dalnet yeah here it has come because we have very limited so post matching easily nahi diya because it is taking as a post dalnet you have to give as a post so we have taken it as a page you know so now you have to give virtual library otherwise it would have come so be little bit careful about this so it is coming now virtual library so showing post sorted by relevance in the query so uh, uh, you uh, 
as many times you are updating it it will be uh, giving a much glimpses to your uh, blog it will it will be more useful for your users and uh, very quickly and with ease user can access the uh, their desired uh, resources uh, with one click and then they can uh, later on use for effective teaching learning if the teacher so now uh, see that importance of this library 2.0 uh, applications suppose you want one more thing or two things if time permits then here you want uh, yeah, one thing is left it's very important now we have to go to settings this is important let it be most of the time it has to be default one but now in what way you can uh, give description to your profile so at the bottom you just go and select your user profile first now check in and check share share my profile yes show my email address yes i intend so my uh, so sites i follow definitely because it's a public one username is this required email address is this and then the display name display name you can change it from here if you want now i want some profile photo because uh, at, at this moment you know, time the photo is not coming so i have to choose the file from my profile photo you want to paste because you are the author and creator of your uh, uh, or you want your uh, head to to be there so now you just take it if it is there okay i will take it from passport book now i i will take my image so suppose a create uh, creator of this block so you can select as per the requirement it will come now audio url if you have any uh, instructions to your users you want to give that these are such services of our library so just save it in your drive and uh, audio url you can give so here you just select as your gender now home page url you can give here uh, i'm not giving because it's a by default it is taking otherwise you can give and uh, wish list you can create so likewise you just city town you fill we will not waste time here so city town reason state work industry occupation interest uh, one more thing is important here you want to say something about yourself so you just give introduction of yours so uh, if i see that if uh, i am ready with uh, certain things like profile so be ready with this type of description of a profile so now you have profile you select the required information from your uh, because the, it is limited to certain so i think some characters limitation will be there so i am just taking my educational qualification and then going back to the web log here i am pasting here you see that it is right write as little as much as possible and then it is limiting to the 1200 characters so if it is the 1200 characters can't control paste is working or not it is working it is under 1200 characters you can append favorite music and movies and favorite books here i i can like like napoleon hill i like napoleon hill and apj abdul kalam so then you may, you may write here and, and that networking books of dr h k paul i intend always to read so on union get log so may i uh, i like this type of books to read okay like random questions if anything you can in order to retrieve your uh, uh, password or so otherwise not uh, wasting our time and i am saving the profile now see if there are any changes if it is saying okay it is saving now we just go and see our blog you see that here it has come it has come and then it has saved okay you once check it then go back to your blog here our blog is there you update it you refresh it and see if uh, there is any changes mm, i have to go to the inside the blog and then view blog it will come here under your profile you you witness that about me has come here because i was selected the rss in the left side now you can switch it over to here somewhere so later on it can be customized as per requirement i want it to be at top 
position uh, at the top just beneath that our heading section then you, it can be dragged down so now this is about me and this is about uh, your jilla uh, granthala bsp it's our uh, name and then this is uh, your profile details and view my profile complete profile so that you, if you click then it will come automatically like this so this is the way to add your profile and add accordingly and up update the blogs so these are some certain important things i will check it out if any things which is left and important one then i will be explaining so again i am going to the interface section here uh, theme reading list now uh, you are uh, interested you are you see that virtual library has come you just opaque has come now you can uh, um, from where you can manage all those things you have to manage it from this section manage blog and then here you can simply add i'm not doing this but i'm just showing you can paste any url suppose i want to give url my personal so i have created one url this lmc bilaspur dot wordpress see that i am using that subdomain no problem because uh, uh, these service provider are giving me such a wonderful uh, things and opportunity free of cost so uh, there is no harm to use this otherwise uh, in one case for the vidyalaya purpose i have just used just uh, purchase one domain and then lmcblasco.in so now lmcblasco.wordpress.com next and then you are seeing following options has already come so that follow publicly and then follow so this is the way to manage that reading list also here you have seen that it has come here somewhere library block of kb blaspur you click and then you will be going there so likewise ye i have just selected library 2.0 you just go click and see it it will come return the value this is my personal it is uh, actually i have worked here because uh, as per the requirement of user i was forced to create during pandemic the different types of blogs that is different thing but now as per as library is concerned what i have created using these two uh, platform uh, uh, named as uh, wordpress and blogger um, mostly blogger because it's a free of cost so now uh, see that everything has been added here it, it it's a library web blogs actually library blog because it has opec it has flip book of the library activities what the reason has given me assignment of uh, rigorous assignments of uh, uh, fortnightly to i have to prepare that flip books on library activities of this reason so now one can access my authorities can access uh, what type of uh, this will come because it has been updating by now uh, i i will be adding it so now these uh, flip books have come opec library you can see backlit profile uh, i will show you opec here whether it is existing because that is why i am saying saying that updation required you have to give the time a number of things because you you are doing doing the job and then responsibility of home and then coming and then you have to take one or two uh, hours time for this block so you, uh, this is all required focus and concentration so that if you want it to be a informative one and dynamic so online public access catalog of kb blaspur or uh, so that we can go and see this so here also coming through my blog of library so this is the library blog you see that here backlit profile and library on mobile these are if uh, I, i i i will request uh, dr sangeeta call in future if it will be possible then i will be explaining and uh, i will be taking some 15 20 half an hour time to backlit profile how it can be created it's another application of library 2.0 and it's a very beautiful and it's like a, as simple as blog and library on mobile so the uh, others are just uh, nipun bharat library it's all virtual libraries so now library that is why i have given it uh, these are on top so backlit profile let's see that it's a mainly i have been recognized by using this so this is another application of library 2.0 very effectively that library backlit profile so it's also free of cost and public domain see that the different options if i want to show a lot of things all upon all depending i always uh, talk to the our users and uh, after the uh, just uh, knowing the requirement of the user i go ahead so likewise suppose i tick this with the alias of so in between press clipping of the alias so this is our alias 
here it's a press clipping of uh, now see that recently csi or scientist visited all things all meetings all things are uh, happening in the library so jigyasa of csi are or I have been made in charge of these things. So uh, it gives me a little bit of satisfaction because I'm um, just doing that uh, what I have learned over the years. So that is why I uh, at the beginning I mentioned and uh, my, my role model has been the most respected Dr. S.K. Paul sir. So that uh, it is due to him though only that I knew about these things and now I am just trying to implementing only 10% of what I have learned from sir. So I have to do a lot of these things. So see this a lot of things has come about a number of posts have been there so these are uh, see that beauty is this we are able to access all those things from a only uh, only web blog only not we are not going need need not to go anywhere so we were there okay i will go back here. so this is our backlit profile so i will be showing somewhere in naclean or somewhere in paper presentation or somewhere in workshop so how to create that backlit profile it's also a sort of library 2.0 2.0 applications so now again going back to this library on mobile i have created library on mobile too so it is the combination of all things whether it is weblogs whether it is backlit profiles whether it is any type of uh, virtual library or any type of uh, library 2.0 applications that will come so if it is working and i have updated that these are coming on library on mobile so it's a uh, different here also we can uh, accommodate here it as here also now where we were okay so now we have to go to go back to this our dashboard so remember that this has to be open in the next uh, window otherwise it may be taking time so i have to select it and go by back to our if you have lost somewhere the number of windows are opening so now again you can go to the new post to design from there also you can go so we will save our time so likewise you just create and use different options available in your uh, see this interface and utilize in a proper way. So likewise, you select pages, then uh, pages will come. And how the pages will come, I just uh, mentioned and just try to explain. Uh, if Even though it has been saved and created, it won't be visible in your blogs unless until you just linked it to the your layout and then using some sort of uh, wizard. So that uh, will work. So your uh, status will also improve day by day. And, it is understood that reading uh, list I have uh, already explained. Again, we go to the layout and see that if something has uh, left, so add a gadget, followers, bridges, add, add blocks here, sidebar two. We want to accommodate a different thing in the sidebar two also. One more thing which I intend to say you, uh, moving text. You can give the link list also, just select it and then give. It's a very simple. You can type the title of the link, number of the item to be shown, and uh, sorting or alphabetically and so and save. So it's a very simple, you can give the link. So uh, it is uh, nothing to uh, bother about it. One thing is that you want now moving text. Here, there is no moving text a lot at all. I mean, let's see. OK. Yeah. Here, no text is moving, and it requires HTML program. I will tell you, there are freely available program ports, radially available. So now you select, or uh, I have one example for you. I I am always selecting from this because I think some IDNs has made it. So here it has gone. See, there's the, these are the different links of uh, on mobile quiz also. A number of quizzes, uh, you can append the quiz and the student can play the quizzes also and then take part in different type of competitions which are taking place in Vidyalaya. So uh, I'm not appending, but you can take it and as a link and you can append. It's a, my YouTube channel also. So I have just made some videos uh, like book reviews and so you, it can be added feedback link. You can add the feedback link also here. So if it is available in the, I will show you. Marking, one thing is left, moving text. If we, I will have useful links for web share contents, RSS feed. If it will be available, then I will be showing. 
thing in the help updated you can go or uh, taking the help from that blogger here i think i can take it yeah moving text see what will happen you know that marquee commands hmm. so it has to be under quotes marquee and then you can give effects by using that command bz color yeah, i am taking this very simple commands because we, we we require only not much programming we require only the moving text yes you can give some sort of advancement to it like uh, you can change the colors and uh, uh, later on you can ch change the direction of the movement so we can do very easily so uh, all things uh, it has to be in under the quotation of marquee so like for example select it how it will work we will see where we were okay now i am going to my layout i want to give some sort of uh, running text a moving text somewhere in sidebar somewhere cross column somewhere below the header if it is provided the gazette then only we can do that so here you see that it's just a header sorry it is followed by what type of heading the cross column cross column is providing a number of gadgets like of pages so you just see one by one and accordingly implement now beneath that cross column you have sidebar i think it should have so add a gadget here you see that any html yeah html javascript you just add third party functionality or other quotes so now uh, you just give to title and content so paste it your requirement of moving text in whatever in what pattern you want suppose i want moving text of welcome only welcome in my blog or so so write search library blog search library blog be sure that it is under the quote and here you can give text like library blog okay i am saving it here it is message is giving like updated message has come but we will see that whether it has been implemented because code has to be correct one so let's see whether it has been implemented i am refreshing my websites the blog now, yeah it is coming like that see here it is coming you can change the width change the size here if it is uh, 12 then you can change the width of the column and so on you can change the uh, speed of the text color of the text uh, so that you need some some simple uh, tips of simple readily available quotes of uh, html and you do that uh, better glimpses of uh, your blog so it's a moving text so library blocks under the since i have given the heading library block it is coming one more thing i have just uh, come to the mind mind suppose you want uh, to add a page here you go to the blog i will take one more minute and here it has to be from where it has to be always from the cross column pages gadget okay now here you add add a item but since i haven't created it it won't come so just cancel it and just create one page and here i am not uh, giving that actively but just a simple one simply type this because a number of competition for your a competition of your institution yeah activities of your institution so we just give suppose quiz here and then access it and participate access and participate access and participate access and participate now you have to be ready with whatever work i have done a number of uses i have made using uh, google form and hp h5p I, I will take h5p it's better so h5p my voice is visible dr sangeeta call very my much, voice much, is visible. yeah yeah rajesh you're audible yeah visible yes very much very i much. was hearing that no okay. no with a so rapt now, attention everyone is uh, listening to you with a rapt attention uh, so uh, please i will take an five or ten minutes only so yeah, now i am just you. going to what way you can append that as many as pages you want i am giving two or three examples only so if it is there i will take it 
Um, yeah, because okay. Rajesh, since it's quarter to five, we are just wanting uh, to also have some scope for questions from our attendees. Definitely, definitely. And they, definitely. they may have to, because they may have to then leave also. And uh, so I just would like to request to you if you can sum it up maybe in another two, three minutes so that we can One have minute. at least some 10 minutes time. Yeah, please. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. It is much more important. So I am just uh, finishing yeah, and concluding within uh, two, one minute. Well, only sure. one or two minutes. Kindly, kindly, kindly. Thank you for uh, listening to me and giving me time. I am just uh, simply I have worked and saved it so that I will save the time and I will open it. So where that my quiz is H5P, it is available in the H5P. Otherwise, I can go directly and uh, search it and take it. So, okay. H5P. Okay, it is coming. So these are the contents of my quiz. I have worked uh, on it also, so that on different competition in our Vidyalaya, the CCA department is appearing, existing, so that in colleges also a number of competitions will take taking place. So now you just select, it's a number of quizzes using this platform. You can use any type of platform, you know. So you, in what are the ways you can append it? You can, uh, I haven't shown you the insert image. You can, uh, I've shown the image. Now you can also take the videos also. I will show you in this slide show you. So only two things, two minutes. So here you paste it, open it to the new window so that it will be distinctly visible. Now I have done it. Now access and participate quiz. Now I suppose I want to show you the innovative practices. Yeah, all those things are come innovative practices. You can give your neck breeding and something like that in colleges. So we have neck practices likewise. So you are innovative practices in terms of video I want this time. So now you insert a video also. You can upload it from your computer. So see this, if it has been available, then you can choose a video to upload or drag it. So if it is available, you have to go to your drive or so from there. I'm just uh, showing you custom file there. If I click here on file, so you can give, and you can select it from here. This is the way to select your video files also. So this is the way. So uh, just I have mentioned in what are the ways to add your videos also. So just uh, I publish it, or if I, because time constraint. So this is the way to add, it's very simple. You have to drag it down to, uh, to that particular place. Now I'm confirming it and seeing, whether it has come or not. I just refresh to my blog. Now see the changes is being accepted here. Okay, I'm going to blog and view blog. No, it is not showing. See that recently I have created the page of quiz, but it is not showing. Why? Because one more thing is left. So we have to go to our layout portion and in the layout, we have to connect our page to a gadget that is left. So where we want it and beneath the cross column, go and now you will see that pages have been add a new item. Here you will just click to save and type anything, quiz, so you can give the quiz and save it. And now again, save it. As many as time you are seeing save option, you have to do implement it. Now you see your blog, view blog. Here you see that quiz is coming. Home I have, we have created and successfully attached to a gadget of a page. Likewise, Delnet and quiz. Now you click the quiz and here you will see that the author and quiz everyone, everything will come. So here you just, uh, Quiz access, you know, innovative practices. Since I have not attached any videos, it is just showing the text. Otherwise, it, it, it would have functioned like this. So access and participate. You can access and participate. See this, the beauty of this. You can use different platform and different type of quizzes you can use it. For example, a one minute for one minute, I am not be playing, but I will show just select any anything and it will be working. So important days in drag some drag it's an interesting one so i'm selecting yeah drag the drag the word and correct place place them in the correct place see this 
so this is the case is to it has to be a user friendly and then it has to be attractive so that not only student will update and then the same time the positive and then meaningful use of the devices as far as students are concerned will take place so that is much more important because we all know that aware that the students are using in what way the social media is all about so this is the very positive way to use that library 2.0 web uh, library blocks so that uh, student may attract here and then use uh, make it sure that uh, they are they will be using these uh, ICT devices in a meaningful way. So now suppose for an example, how many colors are there in rainbow? So a student will select not only he will update his knowledge, but also he will use mean devices uh, these devices in a meaningful way. Just click it where you want to keep and then you will get answer. Likewise, you can do that. So this thing I wanted to show you. So this is all about uh, web logs and library blocks rather and you can create as per the your requirement and uh, be careful about uh, prerequisite uh, as far as this time concerned time concerned and then you have to be focus and concentration and you have to be very very aware about that uh, desire and requirement of the users that only that your uh, web log uh, your library box will be meaningful otherwise all effort all effort will be going to be in vain so we have to be very care careful in this uh, aspect otherwise it's a free of cost and you if you want to change the domain name you go to the uh, one last thing i will explain you you have to all those things uh, setting parameters me uh, all those things you can buy if you want to willing to now delete remove these blocks they, there are option otherwise by default it will work I, i'm just showing that this is the last one meta tags are there you just uh, uh, you just select it and then meta tags will work so that your uh, website will be uh, better search searchable so like errors crawlers indexing martin so a lot of things now here from here you can manage your videos backup contents import contents and you can remove so suppose i uh, i want to uh, remove this blog and then i want to switch it over to something other so now you can delete it but suppose you want to, if you are clicking to the delete you will get another chance permanently delete or undelete so i am uh, just undeleting it so likewise you can do this type of thing so now it is possible through the settings simply domain also you can purchase by using the setting options so here somewhere it uh, it has been given that http directs permissions to whom you are uh, giving the permission post maximum post can be changed anytime i want 7 10 12 uh, how many posts posts you want you you can select it as per your wish if you limit to the 5 if you limit to the 10 any post so you hear from the post number then these are some user friendly words as name implies that answer will come so these are the comment location from here you want email so which type of notification you want time zone you can set it this is one more thing left which is important your time zone is taking as los angeles you can change it to the calcutta and indian time zone so uh, it's a header for it now you have to, i'm just cancelling it and going to the it's a pacific zone now somewhere it is given calcutta and indian time so now you select and then do accordingly because we don't have much time here so uh, if it uh, visible then i will select it otherwise let it be you can select it from kolkata and uh, indian uh, indian standard time ist so it is i had seen that i had selected for my blog from somewhere here so gmt gmt okay so you select accordingly here so GMT 5:30. So Indian Standard Time. You just select it. So see that the here zone time zone has been changed here. So now it will be showing Indian Standard Time in your blog. That is much more important. And uh, so these are some mandatory things which you can uh, amend accordingly as per your wish. And uh, you can here is the custom uh, custom details I am looking. Then from here you can purchase. I, since I have not purchased, uh, I didn't see bother about it, but you can manage it from the this section. Because here some, you can manage your comments also, location where post, maximum post that I just mentioned it, permission to whom you want to give publishing blog like here. Now you see a custom domain. So you just select it. Okay. Just let me go to it. Blogger address is okay. Now you select first custom domain. You know you want to give a buyer domain. So I want no, I don't want blogspot in my URL. At present, it is giving blogspot.com. I want directly your name dot in. 
now in that case this is the last thing i am just explaining so now you can change and you can purchase from there see that their pattern and then costing if you want to purchase dot com domain then 860 per year dot net dot org dot in rupees 186 per year not much dot info is costly uh, rupees 1530 otherwise there there are different options and they are suggesting suppose we have created a library block of kb blaspur now i intend to be it as co dot in so only i have to spend uh, spend rupees 790 per year then it will be change it will not look like this library blog of kb blaspur dot blog spot dot com it has to be sub domain will be replaced by uh, co dot in so uh, it's not costly it is a, it's a lowering the cost i think rather so you can manage it very easily if, if it is official then there are no problems so this is the way to just uh, uh, purchase the domain so again i am coming back so profile it uh, can be done by using profile section so this is the way by which uh, we can uh, very easily uh, create our li library block and which is very very useful tool of a library 2.0 and we have to utilize it because we have learned and then we have to implement our uh, whatever we have gone through during our uh, education of library science uh, during really mli and phd and so and moreover for our user satisfaction we are uh, working so i am very very thankful for dr sangeeta call and then i just salute the, your effort so i am just nothing before your work but uh, only things that important you have given me a chance to just share whatever my experience though we all be knowing that but now uh, i was struggling for four or five years in what way we have to create now i think that a okay, lot of wasted of time that time now it's very easy but only things we have to devote ourselves and concentrate so jai hind thank you very much this is from my side thank you yeah. thank you very much uh, dr rajesh ji for such a splendid uh, presentation and uh, you know we would like to congratulate you for uh, really acquiring you know such a exhaustive uh, knowledge that you have now on the subject and for the tremendous contributions that you are making it not only uh, for among the schools but yes largely to the profession Within a short span of two hours, you have delivered such a highly enriching and an excellent presentation, making us all uh, not only aware about this, uh, uh, the how to create the web uh, web blog and how to use you know this open source technologies you know which are in place, but also you have truly inspired each and every one. And, you know we. It's truly, truly praiseworthy. You know the 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 work that you have been doing over the years, and that you have been contributing. You know uh, to the for the library users. Uh, we really look forward to because of the paucity of time we have not been able to. We really wish that uh, we could have given you more time. But uh, I think you know I'm definitely we are going to uh, you know trouble you again and would really request you to take a further more advanced um, you know workshop on this more as a practical yeah. workshop and you have given us a, a typically a practical orientation you know to how to create uh, the library blogs and but perhaps uh, delnet would be happy to also have a small little um, kind of a uh, not a committee, but definitely some kind of a forum wherein we can help each other. We can help, uh, you know, our library uh, colleagues, you know, how they can further can, you know, a little more handholding uh, to happen. We remain much grateful to you, uh, Dr. Rajesh, and this has brought back, you know, the wonderful memories of working together. And uh, let me also share to all my uh, distinguished, you know, library colleagues across the country who have joined that both me and Dr. Rajesh joined he joined india international center and i joined delnet on the same very day that is on 4th of uh, july 1994 and uh, both of us have truly been nurtured you know by a great visionary and we feel truly blessed enough uh, by uh, late dr hk call and uh, and uh, it, there has been uh, you know has been a great journey and have been seeing him dr rajesh that uh, you know, the kind of a significant contributions that he has been making uh, uh, to the profession and more focused, you know, on the schools where we have the young students and even during this entire pandemic and all these recognitions and accolades that he has received, we wish and pray that many more to come your way. And you have really, really, it has been an eye opener to many of us and I think to each one of us over here. 
and we really look forward dr rajesh to have many more opportunities to have this wonderful association with you you are practically a silent worker that have been seeing and i really hold you in very great uh, admiration uh, for the you know for the great work that you are doing for the profession and for the library users and we really look forward you know let's let's see uh, you know we would like to have you back again on this platform and to make you because you had you have been wanting to also uh, you know let us all know apprises more about many of the other web 2.0 uh, applications i think we would like to have an entire one day you know session with you and giving you a short breaks in between because it would yes. truly be uh, knowledge enhancing for each and every one uh, so thank you very much once again we can't really thank you enough uh, for your time and efforts but we really feel so proud of you know the great work that you are doing it and may uh, god bless you and you keep on contributing and bringing you know this change and we, we are able to see this that it's quite visible you know from uh, your work your very sincere and dedicated work that you have been uh, doing for past nearly three decades and uh, we really congratulate you and god may god bless you and thank you so very much uh, for being there with us it has truly been a very very special you know webinar for us and you have practically have shown and you have also inspired besides to all our attendees you have also inspired us at delnet uh, we started off our one of the blog you know way back i was telling it to dr rajesh uh, uh, you know yes. in our conversations some seven eight years ago but yes now i think it's a high time for us and you have really inspired us to revive that and uh, we would really like to now immediately would like to work and we would be requiring your guidance and your suggestions and your expert expertise you know on the subject you know dr rajesh so with your permission now we would like to make the floor open for questions requesting yes. our uh, attendees our fellow uh, professional colleagues you know who are there with us today any questions you may have many questions you know to ask uh, him so just wanting sure. to request you if you may like to ask any questions please kindly raise your digital hand and we will be very happy uh, to give you an audio control or you can post your question in the chat box i think that would be much faster uh, please kindly give us um, uh, your uh, it, whatever you know questions you you may like to ask you can post it in the chat box and we may like to quickly ask uh, dr rajesh about it uh, just requesting all our colleagues if you want to ask any question or if you want us to get connected with you in the audio please raise your digital hand and immediately we will be able to do that uh, this is uh, mr akil a you know has truly has felt happy you know being there and has appreciated and uh, this is from Mr. Rajan Sharma, uh, and let me quickly ask you, Dr. Rajan, this question is from Mr. Rajan Sharma. His question is, suppose, sir, if we create a blog and a user wants to get updates about that blog information, how do we incorporate RSS feature into it so the user is directly notified into personal email IDs? Uh, 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 Mr. Rajan, uh, Dr. Rajesh has shown that how we can incorporate and this XML, you know, uh, you know uh, the URLs of this XMLs you know, to, to be incorporated. But yes, your question is that how we can further can integrate it with their personal email ID so that they are being notified. Uh, would you like to say something about it, uh, Dr. Rajesh? Uh, sure, that's a very uh, definitely a good question because it seems that uh, the sir is working. Uh, the question came from, and then we have to subscribe. There is a field like subscribe. We have to subscribe these options under uh, under the subscription options. We uh, may be getting depending upon the uh, different platforms, like in different little bit different in the WordPress and so so that notification under notification we have to select the where where we want that uh, in uh, which type of platform like uh, our applications for email or like that so that from there we can select it and as many as practices you will see that you will have to go to the uh, wordpress or blogger uh, help menu so they are updating it also so there will there will be uh, some sort of amendment also so we have to be aware about it so now we have to see that we have to subscribe uh, it is uh, very much available under these all things under the security and uh, then we have to link it to the different gadgets through our uh, um, right side bar or left side bar or so on uh, using different layouts so this is all yeah thank you very much for this dr rajesh uh, and uh, there are some queries you know uh, from our attendees asking about your email id and just correct me rajesh if i go wrong dr rajesh can be reached at his email id which is rajesh sharma kv at gmail.com is it exactly. correct rajesh 
Yes, Rajesh Sharma, yeah, Rajesh Sharma, KV Kendra Vidyale, Bilaspur at gmail.com. So that goes as the email ID of Dr. Rajesh Sharma. You can always can communicate. A couple of our attendees have asked Rajesh Sharma, KV Bilaspur at gmail. Uh, there is a question coming in, and this is from Mr. Akhil A. And Rajesh, quickly, if you may like to uh, say something about it. And he says, he's saying about that, about the copyright terms for copy paste in the blocks. Yes, definitely. That's uh, one of the things that we as a library professional have to remain always sensitize about it because we can't really bring in, you know, the content from any of the, you know, sites and can directly can do it. Any uh, any uh, inputs of yours, uh, Dr. Rajesh, on this about the copyright regulations? Uh, uh, publishing content. It, it, surely, surely, it's a, it's a reality. We have to be careful. That is why, if you remember, while I was uh, demonstrating or showing, I mentioned that when I was uh, adding Delnet. So now uh, I mentioned that time we have to ask the permission from the authorities of the Delnet to whether we can uh, give access to your services to not the services only the information, information about your uh, membership and so. Uh, we are not uh, just giving the entire things or link. We are just giving the links. And then if you see that NCRT website, CBSC website, these are, uh, we have to be very careful. Like uh, it has to be in public domain. It has to be creative commons. Then we can, we can, we can uh, easily take it as, now suppose uh, National Digital Library, while attending one or two uh, webinar of the National Digital Library, I asked this question from a professor of uh, this institution. Then they said that these things which are available in the public domain, which are freely available, so are not uh, we are using it mean for the commercial purposes. So now uh, and with the uh, courtesy, we have to use that courtesy and we have to mention that it's a work of a particular institution. Then we can apply because we are uh, using it for quality teaching and learning purpose. We are not using it for uh, the what can I say that for commercial purpose. And then we have duly got the permission. So these things uh, can be taken care of while using thank you yes thank you very much dr rajesh definitely we need to incorporate towards the end of the footer of the page you know the copyright yeah. disclaimer uh, it is yeah. very important wherein we do clearly mention that this is all being you know the sites that are being uh, mentioned and it is entirely meant to be used for educational research reference purposes and uh, it means it's entirely for not for profit uh, reasons you know that uh, Exactly. Now, there is a question. There is a question for you yet again, Dr. Rajesh. This is from Sanjay Sahu, who wants to say, Sir, can I sign in multiple blogger accounts with the same mail ID? Number okay, one question uh, hmm. The multiple bloggers account, can I sign in uh, with the same mail ID? And the second one is, if I no longer use a blogger account after creating the account, can I permanently delete this account without having an access to my Gmail account? So, for example, Definitely. if they stop the Gmail, can they do that, please? Uh, as, as I also uh, shown, in what way, uh, under that uh, setting option, you can go there and you can permanently delete your account. You can permanently delete even your uh, Gmail account too. So now there is no question, uh, question cannot but that there is any fear regarding this. If you are willing to, even there is option, if you have deleted accidentally, then there is another option, you can uh, retrieve it. But now uh, if you want to delete permanently, then twice uh, the from the setting option, you will be asked. Then using this, you can uh, delete it permanently, no problems. So you can do so. And multiple accounts, uh, I show you, uh, that is why I initially I told that. In what way, even though the existing, uh, Blocks are there, you can create and access the blocks using this blogger. Fine. Dr. Rajesh, just a one quick question from me. And the question is, is it possible enough to export out, you know, all the configuration files? Uh, the query is, for example, we want to replicate it. You know, you have a, we have a huge, large number of member institutions. Everyone, you know, has to, you know, is would be interested to create own library blocks of theirs. Is there a way to replicate these? Uh, replicating it is that, you know, then they can they can further can edit it. They can further can incorporate their own images. But as a prototype, we make it and then they can further can go and edit that. And is there an option wherein from the back end, because this is all being posted online, you know, on the blogger uh, website. Is there a way that we can export out these configuration files, the entire configuration files and all the content, and then can think about importing it into some of the other uh, blogger site? 
good question these platform usually offering this type of services when we use that uh, in uh, under setting if you see that wordpress and in the wordpress i have seen that multiple user can be added and then here also we, we have to search it then multiple user there is an option called multiple user so that you just activate it and uh, you give the permission to the the user you want him to be uh, added on your behalf so now you can uh, do so perfectly fine perfectly fine this is a question coming in i believe the last question can we expect more updates in the bloggers especially for library professionals would you like to say something uh, dr rajesh uh, pardon pardon uh, uh, mr akile is wanting to ask that can we expect more updates in the blogger especially yes. he's thinking about for library professionals since we you know keeping in view are there any the way we have for joomla and others you know for in cms some very special you know kind of an um, uh, you know kind of add ons for the libraries so he's just wanting to know whether for uh, in the blogger uh, you know he has something special for the library community yeah definitely if, uh, if you are uh, willing uh, free of cost or it depends or you are going to opt some uh, domain so definitely customization may differ and then you may be offering some sort of uh, services like you, you can uh, willing you, you will be willing to add upon but now uh, even though you are using that uh, free services then there is updation and quick updations i have seen today only so there is two or three updations and immediately i will switch it over to the help menu use the of uh, uh, word process word process rather or blogger so now uh, you you can very very uh, effectively can uh, use and uh, these type of updation so you have to aware about and then about what type of updation is going on so now i have also surprised about that uh, their uh, pattern and then their prices it's not so high so now you can purchase a domain and then uh, by uh, purchasing the domain like wordpress and uh, blogger you will be getting uh, advanced features so by using this advanced features what you are willing for your institution as far as this personal blog is concerned it is not at all required but as far as this institutions and big institutions are required Uh, are concerned then uh, we may purchase some domain and along with the domain depending upon the uh, cost of the domain you will be getting the facilities of updation too so you will be highly uh, uh, highly attractive uh, about uh, highly impressed about this type of uh, additional services of this but uh, as far as my is concerned that my uh, requirement is uh, just justified so that is why i am using freely but now i have purchased a uh, domain that is why i purchased domain because i got some uh, very very quality oriented uh, extra facilities uh, as far as wordpress is concerned so now e but the problem is that it's not a one time payment we have to just pay uh, every year so you if you get the permission first you get that approval from your library uh, committees and then uh, from your head of the library committee and uh, you go ahead with this you will definitely be updating with the new features and it is uh, uh, coming you know that now these days we have already been premier about uh, what the tutor is going to be changed so now this is all about this what i want to say yeah this is the last question now uh, dr rajesh for you you have such a you know um, exhaustive session this afternoon and the no, question no. is from mr akil a who is wanting to know how to manage i think uh, mr akil uh, not from akil this is from mr kusigi mahesh Uh, and he's just wanting to know a little bit that how to manage the comments in the bloggers you know means i i i i'm just taking half of your question uh, mr kosegi mahesh uh i we just want to know uh, dr rajesh in the in the uh, blogging environment because these comments especially when we are you know dealing with our library users can be really restricted can it be that you know it has to be before it directly gets posted that there is a kind of a review process you know before it gets because especially managing in the libraries you have users you know who are they being there but is it like you know anyone and everyone can directly can post it or are there any uh, kind of uh, reviews which can be there before it gets finally broadcasted under the set setting option you will get the comment comment under this comment uh, you will be directing to whether uh, you have to moderate it uh, this is for blogger i am talking so now uh, you have to just uh, select it under the uh, you yes definitely i want to moderate it first so you will be getting opportunity to see whether it is uh, really uh, good to for your blog or it suits to your users of your blog so you can uh, restrict 
or uh, not uh, unwilling uh, comments from the users because it may happen so now uh, the, you will get the opportunity very very it's not a tough will very easy you go to setting under setting uh, com comment and under comment you will uh, get the two or three options there uh, whether you want to moderate it prior to uh, uh, posting of any comment so you just uh, say yes and that's all Thank you so very much. You know, uh, Dr. Rajesh truly, truly remain much grateful on behalf of Delnet and on also behalf of each one of us over here. Everyone has truly felt truly, truly benefited, you know, with your great expertise, with your, you know, wonderful deliberations in such a lucid, in a very simple manner that speaks volumes of the, you know, the great work that you are being engaged with over the years. And that's a great contributions that you are making. Uh, we are pretty confident and sure that each one of us over here would have many takeaways, you know, from this and everyone would definitely would think now, you know, that how they can use this blogging platforms in making, you know, their services more visible and more user centric as we are able to witness it this afternoon, all because of our distinguished speaker, Dr. Rajesh Sharma. Dr. Rajesh, once again, on behalf of each one of us, we express our very sincere, warm, sincere thanks and gratitude to you for being there, taking out time. And we would like to present a memento from Delnet. This is going to come down. Uh, to Bilaspur, we really wish and desire that we should be able to invite you at Delhi and to hold a, an exhaustive two or three days workshop, you know, all together on the 2.0 applications. But till the time that happens, you know, we are going to send it across to you with great sense of, you know, our appreciation and admiration for the wonderful work that you are doing it for the profession and for everyone, you know. Thank you so very much. And we request you to kindly accept this. Thank you very much. I am, in fact, inviting you to come to our central universities, Guru, Guru Ghasidas University, and then uh, please come to my residence. So I am inviting, I am taking advantage surely, of this surely. And I, uh, I salute your, you and your staff and uh, doing a cross globe a wonderful uh, work for our Thank profession. You. Actually. So we are Thank just following it. Thank right. you so much. No, no, it is it is all mutual. Uh, it is all collaborative, cohesive, you know, in uh, joining hands together. Each one of us, the professionals, you know, have to bring more name and glory to the profession. And it's indeed such a great blessing, you know, to have you also around with us in this entire journey of, you know, networking, networking, coming together for a greater purpose, for a greater cause, and that is to serve the society. So it's indeed being so wonderful, Dr. Rajesh, and we really look forward to having an opportunity. And I would also like to have a very sooner, uh, you know, a bigger opportunity to request you, invite you. I'm going to certainly speak to you about it because we have our forthcoming NACLA, and this is to inform all our professional colleagues who are being there with, the, uh, with us this evening, that Necklin is going to be on 14th, 15th, and 16th of December. And we may Wonderful. really like to see that we can invite Dr. Rajesh if he can squeeze in, you know, some time and can spare time in being there. And if we can just can talk about a couple of new things that you have been desiring to do, but because of positive of time, we couldn't do that. So we really look forward to having an opportunity to having you again. Thank you very, very much, uh, Rajesh, once again. And may God bless you and bless you with, you know, infinite energy and enthusiasm that you carry on and have that great passion of, you know, developing and serving, you know, which you have been doing. So indeed, much grateful to you for being there with us. In fact, I must extend my whole heartfelt gratitude and thanks to you that you have given me such a wonderful, uh, out, out, outstanding opportunity to me to just uh, talk to the uh, attendees. Of the, these are all uh, dignified and then uh, eminent uh, professions of our uh, profession. So now I am equally uh, very, very thankful. Thank I, I don't have a word even. So Thank it's a great over here. It is, it is, it is indeed our privilege. It's indeed our honor and pleasure that you have been there with us. I would like to inform uh, our, uh, you know, colleagues over here through this platform today that uh, we have our forthcoming uh, program, the online program. Please mark your calendars, mark your, uh, you know, schedules. And this is the Delnet annual lecture is going to be on 17th of November, which falls on Thursday. And it will be at seven o'clock in the evening, 7 p.m. in the evening. And the reason is we are going to have our distinguished speaker, Mr. Peter Bay, the Assistant University Librarian for Collections Access, Fulfillment and Resource Sharing. 
serving at Princeton University Library at Princeton in New Jersey in USA, and he will be joining and delivering the Delnet annual lecture, which is on connecting libraries and collections for global users. So we request you, please mark your calendar 17th of November, 7 p.m. Indian Standard Time, and uh, we request you to please do join us. We would be sending across the web link for it in yet another two or three days time. And we would truly be grateful if you may also can help us in informing as many as professional colleagues across the nooks and parts of the world to be a part of this Dell Nintendo lecture. So we are towards now the closure. Let me also quickly tell you that the entire we have been receiving on the chat box a uh, couple of you know queries about the web uh, the video recording because everyone has felt truly benefited and would really like to go back again and do the things and again uh, consult you know the entire uh, knowledge deliberations what dr rajesh has deliberated you know in such a wonderful manner this uh, this evening so please let me uh, remind you that the entire uh, video recording of the session will be available on the Delnet's YouTube channel. I think I, we also request you to please do subscribe to it. That is a web view out of the webinars. It's a, you know, we have made it as a shortened version of web view and which is on uh, YouTube and the entire deliberations will be also uploaded and you are most welcome, you know, to further refer to it. Uh, Dr. Rajesh can be, you know, contacted at Rajesh Sharma, kvbilaspur at gmail.com. Also, we would be, uh, you know, very much be wanting to have him back again on any of the days, 14th, 15th or 16th, primarily on 14th of December on the first day of NACLIN, where we have our, that's a day dedicated for the tutorials. And we may like to have a web 2.0 application in libraries, wherein Dr. Rajesh, he has practically done so much. So it's an open invite to you through this forum also, Dr. Rajesh, and uh, it would be a, pleasure to make many and also I think you know we also should try to see to create it's like a, today we have made a beginning but we should also think about having uh, you know uh, uh, kind of a regular programs you know especially on the open source tools especially on the open technologies uh, for which you need not to you know invest in you just need to invest in your time and efforts and I think uh, Delnet would be very happy to do even a follow-up uh, programs and follow-up webinars to help you out further you know in achieving and creating you know these uh, you know, um, uh, to make the best use of all these technologies and tools. So it has been a great honor and pleasure. Would like to once again thank our distinguished speaker, Dr. Rajesh Sharma, for his very diligent efforts uh, and also for so, uh, you know, wonderfully, uh, you know, taking this uh, knowledge enriching session this afternoon. Uh, and the afternoon has turned into an evening and he has he didn't get even a you know little pause and he was continuously and that was a passion that he was holding which really made everyone each one of us also truly glued you know uh, and not to miss out any one single step as he was showing he was wanting to show much more because of positive time we couldn't do that but definitely dr rajesh we are going to come back and request you yet again so thank you very much and we would also like to thank each one of our attendees who have been able to join us from different nooks and parts of india and also from different countries you have been here you know with us this afternoon we truly remain much grateful to you and also for a very active engaging attendees as your questions you know always is not only the question that you would like to find an answer for there would be many of us who would also who gets benefited out of those deliberations so we remain truly truly uh, much appreciative of your presence and look forward to the same uh, you know in our future programs also on behalf of delnet i would also like to uh, thank my own colleague mr kushal giri goswami who has been chiefly uh, you know taking care of the delnet webinar sessions uh, much truly appreciative and also of mrs ranjana who ha helps in informing our uh, users community about these webinars so once again, would like to thank each one of you. It has truly been a great pleasure in having each one of uh, you with us. And thank you so very much for giving, uh, you know, making this day a very special one where we have been able to get uh, not only acquainted, we are fully feeling charged, you know, to take this, you know, the blogging, creating a web blog, something new, some new contribution that we would be making to our respective institutions. So once again, uh, Rajesh, thank you so very much. Has been a great pleasure getting reconnected, you know, on this platform and a yeah. great pleasure always. And it's a commendable work that you are doing it. And may God bless you and you keep on doing and keep on 
spreading you know this uh, knowledge among others and uh, your simplicity and your being uh, you know uh, the sincerity that speaks you know a lot about uh, your determination and your passion you know that you hold for the profession so thank you very much god bless you and also would like to wish each one of you the best of the times ahead have a very good evening and we really look forward to having you back again on 17th of november seven o'clock in the evening please kindly it's a request because of different time zones that would be around 9 30 a.m for our speaker in us in new jersey seven o'clock in the evening we would truly appreciate wherever you are you know please do kindly join us and we will soon be informing you about it it is always a great honor and pleasure for delight to hold these webinar sessions and not only the sessions it's a it's a collaboration. It's everyone having that feeling of being connected. And yes, for a higher cause of you know making a difference, making a difference in our libraries, making a difference in the lives of our users community. So God bless you all. Thank you very much. And we really look forward to having you back again. Stay happy, stay informed, stay blessed, and do stay connected. Thank you very much once again. And thank you, Dr. Rajesh, a special thank you. We can't really thank you enough. You have been so wonderful and you have always, always been a great colleague, you know, to work with. Thank you very much once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. From the bottom of thank my you. heart. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Rajesh. God bless yeah. you. Thank you. God thank bless you. you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, each one of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Bye. Bye, Rajesh. Bye, all of you. God bless you. God bless you. Thanks. Thank you.